Hey guys, Brian here with some more Bomber Beta. We're going to be talking about three mistakes that beginner climbers make when trying to choose rock climbing shoes. Let's get into it. I'm really excited to share these three tips with you. Um, if you guys stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you a tip on how to use these new shoes to get better at climbing. Um, so let's get into it. The first tip is that more money does not equal a better shoe. I don't know how many times I see somebody in the gym with a pair of La Sportiva Solutions on falling on a V1. And it frustrates me so much because that climber spent, you know, almost $200 on a shoe and is not benefiting from it at all. If anything, it's probably teaching them bad technique, hurting their feet, and just they're wearing their shoe out way faster than they should because they don't know how to use proper footwork yet. Uh, you know, I don't have a pair of solutions with me at the moment, but I have a kind of, a, I guess, a similar-ish pair. Uh, these uh, Butora Narshas. I did a review. You guys can check it out. But if you're watching this video, it's this, this is not going to be a shoe for you. Um, beginner climbers need to be grabbing a shoe that's not downturned. You can see this thing's pretty downturned. It's also really stiff. Um, not a good shoe for you to get. A really good shoe, and this is the one that I would highly suggest you get, is a Madrock Drifter. This is a very simple shoe. Um, it's got uh, Velcro and just, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's stiff, but it's not super stiff. It's also um, pretty flat, so that's obviously going to be a really good shoe to get. Now, the number two thing that you need to look at is actually picking a shoe that's the right size for your feet. Proper climbing shoe fit is very important. And you can probably find a lot of climbers that are you know, pretty strong at your local gym that say they downsize their shoe. And for whatever reason, that seems to be like a, almost like a tough guy thing where people are like, oh, I downsized my shoe you know, four sizes. That's, that's fine if, that's, uh, if you're a very advanced climber and you've been doing it for a long time, you find that you actually perform better with a tighter shoe. But as a beginner, your first pair of shoes, your second pair of shoes, even probably your third pair of shoes, you do not need to downsize these things. Proper climbing fit, or that proper fit is basically something that's gonna be comfortable for you. Um, another key point to getting the right fit is also knowing that you need to take your shoes off and on often. Um, so uh, these shoes here, these are just a pair of lace shoes that I have personally there's a lot of beginner climbing shoes that actually sell lace-ups i would not suggest getting a lace-up shoe uh, for the most part and the number one reason why i would say don't get a lace-up shoe is because they're harder to take on and off you have to tie these things up unless you're going to be that guy at the gym that's climbing without their shoes tied which is you know kind of a pet peeve at times of mine but anyways um you know, if you get a Velcro shoe, it's just one, two, you take these things off, one, two, you put them back on. It's gonna be the best way to go. And if you don't get a Velcro shoe, getting a slipper is also a great thing because these come on and off so easily. Uh, you're gonna wanna let your foot get used to being in climbing shoes. You don't wanna leave these things on all day long. They don't spend an hour and a half gym session in your shoes without taking them off. That's going to be terrible for your feet. And, you know, you're probably going to suffer a little bit of performance because those toes are very important um, for getting proper edging and smearing and all that kind of stuff. So our last point here is um, getting some quality rubber. That is very important. Um, like, you know, like getting uh, like Vibram rubber that's gonna be uh, really good um, here's like a, a La Sportiva shoe which I would say like if you're really maybe your second shoe you're gonna pick this uh, La Sportiva Maverink might be the best one for you especially if you're trying to get into bouldering because for one it's easy to take on and off it has a nice soft fit so you can get that proper fit and it also has that Vibram uh, excess grip two rubber on it. So, I mean, this would be a great shoe to get. 
Uh, the Mad Rock uh, Friction Science, it doesn't say it on the bottom because I've worn these for years, but that's a good rubber. Now there's a couple, you know, more budget brands out there and also La Sportiva even will uh, release some of their beginner shoes with a cheaper rubber. I would try to avoid that because I think getting a good rubber is going to make sure that it lasts a long time and also you get the performance because you know, getting a cheap rubber is, is not going to help you in your, your long run. You kind of want to get used to the shoe. And, and also, you know, going back to the fit and the rubber, you know, if you get, you know, a La Sportiva shoe, typically they're going to fit similarly throughout the lineup. Uh, so like you could, if you want to eventually get the solutions, maybe you get something like another La Sportiva shoe and it might transition better than maybe going from like Evolve to Scarba or something like that. Like I personally, my feet don't fit well in most 510s and most Evolves. Like I, 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 the moccasins are fine because they're kind of a different shape shoe and they're so old. I don't think they're even similar to the lineup of 510 today anyways. But, um, you know, getting that kind of, you know, getting in with the brand and trying to like grow with that brand if they fit your foot right can be uh, a really good idea. So I told you I was going to give you one tip to use these new shoes that you get to get better at climbing. So a lot of you guys are probably working up the grades, probably working like V2, V3, V4. Um, maybe some of you guys are on lead climbing 510s, maybe 511s. Now, uh, one thing that is going to be really good, don't worry about training, don't worry about doing push-ups and pull-ups and all that stuff. What you need to do is get on a climb that you can do maybe within five tries and then try to do that climb as many times as you can uh, in that session and, and get it so dialed that it just everything feels super easy and try to do that uh, a couple times a week with different climbs. Uh, you can even split that up with maybe you do that with five climbs throughout your two hour session. But learning that, uh, you know, climbing on something that's slightly easier for you, but getting that dialed in beta can teach you techniques that you wouldn't be able to do if you were trying a harder thing. And after a couple weeks of doing that, you're going to have so many new weapons to throw at a harder climb that you're probably going to go and be climbing way harder than you were, let's say, two or three weeks before that. So I hope you guys like this. Uh, if you like videos like this, subscribe. I'm trying to put out uh, as many as I can. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this and uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. Like, I want to know what shoes you end up picking and maybe, you know, what you guys want to see. If you guys have any questions or if you guys are wondering what, uh, what shoe I would suggest, just leave a comment or send me a message. I'd be more than happy to uh, respond to you guys. So, all right, catch you later.